In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I would like to welcome all of you sisters of today's lesson, which is going to be about unit six, form, meaning, and function. Mainly today, inshallah, we're going to see some grammar. Let's see the objectives of today's lesson. Today, inshallah, we will complete a sentence with the correct future tense, uh, and inshallah, we will state the suitable time expressions for the future, differentiate between the use of used to and be used to, and finally, write a future prediction with was or we are going to. Okay, so these are the objectives of today's lesson. Now, as usual, we'll start by revising the previous one, now with the writing, okay? So, I ask you to write a personal narrative essay on any subject that you would like, okay? And I need you to think, okay, to compare what life is like now to what it would have been like if you or a family member had made a different decision. No, so I'm talking about your life now and how life would have been different, okay, with this decision. Use the chart to organize your ideas. Use your ideas here and write your personal essay, okay, on this subject. And we said how we can write this one, okay. We, uh, we divided this into two, uh, two parts. When you write a reflective and speculative personal narrative, okay, think about the following. You need to think about this. What has already happened? What happened? Okay. Then, what opportunities? So I'm talking about chances, okay, were available and what results have taken place or taken place? What feelings? Okay, so opportunities, feelings, and attitudes, okay, you have experienced. Then, which people were involved? Directly or indirectly. So now we will mention people too. Okay, which people were involved? How to present your ideas? How you can present this? Present your ideas so you can set the context clearly for the reader. Okay, so this is the first part. What about the second part here? Then refer to the real context, refer to the real context and reflect and or evaluate. So reflecting and evaluating the decision or choice you made. Wonder or speculate, guess, predict, okay, how things might have been different. Then address the question to your reader, okay, address, addressing the question and express uh, satisfaction, okay, sorry, satisfaction, as you can see, or regret. Satisfaction or regret about your decision or choice, okay? So here, this is the second part of your essay or your writing and how you can actually write a narrative or speculative uh, essay, okay? Now, let's start our lesson today by seeing these two sentences here, as you can see. Now, I will read, in three years' time, I'll be studying medicine. I'll be studying medicine. In five years' time, I have finished studying medicine. So what is the difference between these two sentences here we have? The first one, in three years, okay, in three years, okay, so what tense I'm talking about now? In three years, in five years, okay, so now I am talking about future, okay, Future tense, okay? So, in a three years' time, I'll be studying medicine. Okay, what about the second one? In five years' time, I will have finished studying medicine. As you can see here, are they or do they have the same rule? No, they don't, okay? They have different rules, as you can see here, okay? Why? Because now I'm talking about two kinds, okay, or different tenses here, okay. The first one is called, I will be studying, as you can see here, and the second one, I'll have finished, I'll have finished. The first one with, of course, I'll be with the ing, 
okay the present participle and here i'll have finished as you can see and this one with the past participle okay so the first one with the ing and the second one the past participle actually here we are talking about two important future tenses okay what are they actually let's see the first one is called future progressive or continuous sometimes we call them okay and the second one is number two future perfect future perfect now let's see and differentiate between these two and when do we use them and some examples of course okay to get used to this to these uh, tenses okay let's start we use the future progressive okay with continuous action in the future and a specific point of time of course continuous okay actions that in the progress in the future okay in a specific time in the future what about here the, with the future perfect okay talk about something that will be completed okay will be completed okay before a specific time in a future so here i'm talking about two actions okay i'm talking about two actions we'll, uh, talk about something that will be complete before a specific time in the future of course we are going to see some examples but first let's see the rules okay how we can form struck these two tenses here the first one here we have will of course then be and the present participle i'm talking about the uh the verb with the ing okay the verb with the ing okay guys it's always be okay you cannot use is or are or something like that it's always be here will be because it uh, it comes uh, after will okay what about here will have here will have and the best participle okay which is called sometime verb uh, three okay so here will and have plus the best participle again also here it's always have not has or anything else okay it's always have will have okay so here as you can see these are the examples in affirmative sentences i would use i will be studying the same as this rule i will be studying okay here i will have started i will have started okay started here is the best participle from start what about negative i will not be studying and here i will not have started finally with the questions will you be studying for example uh, tomorrow evening so now i'm asking you a question okay and will i have started okay while uh, when, when with the time when you call me at 6 30 for example when uh, will you, i have started for example so here when you ask questions okay with future progressive or future perfect okay you should use at least with the future perfect here will i have started it should be with uh, another another uh, event or another action okay actually let's see here as you can see this prompt from page 92 and 93 but first let's start with 92 future progressive okay use the future progressive this is the rule you can underline this in your book okay for continuous actions in the future continuous actions in the future for example genetic testing has the potential to impact millions of lives okay soon we will all be beaking we will be beaking into our medical futures okay so here as you can see we used we will okay be beaking this is of course the future progressive what about the the questions here will you have you will you be working on the weekend will you be working on the weekend the answers 
Of course, short answers I'm talking about. Yes, I will. Okay. Or no, I won't. Okay. Look here, when I say no, I won't, it means that I will not. Okay. Will not. But this is one, this one is in short answers. Okay. Short answers. Now, let's see future perfect. The future perfect, okay, this one, is used to express the idea that an action will be completed, okay, will be completed in the future before another event or before another specific time in the future, okay, before another event or another specific time in the future. For example, the future perfect is formed with, this is the rule, you should underline this one, will have and the past participle. Will have and the past participle. Now look, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, okay, we will have had the medical test results back. We will have had the medical test results back, okay? Look here, will, okay, is the same. You cannot change this one. Have, also, same. Had is the best participle from have, okay? Have or has. It depends, okay? So, we here, we should use, for example, had, okay? So, we will have had the medical test results back, okay? By or by this time tomorrow. Now, look at here. What do we have here? Time expressions for the future. A week from or a week from today. Look, a week from today. I mean, in seven days, for example, another part or another phrase. In seven days, a week from today, I'll be working in my new job. I will be working. Okay, this is future progressive. Okay, what about the second one? By the year 2025. Okay, we will all have uh, undergone genetic testing at birth. Okay, so here we will all have uh, undergone genetic testing at birth. Then the third one, by the time, okay, by the time I am uh, or I am elderly, smart robots, okay, will have become what? Common in place, okay, so here, when I'm talking about robots, smart robots, okay, or robots will have become common in place, as you can see, okay, very good. Now, these are the time expressions for the future. Now, did you get the difference? Did you know the difference now about future perfect and future uh, progressive? Very good. Now, we will move to exercise, of course. Here, we are going to practice. Use the future progressive or the future perfect to complete each sentence. In some, in some cases, both forms are possible. Both forms are possible. Now, let's start with the first one with uh, like an example. Shiri started studying genetics in 2020. By 2024, okay, she will have been studying. Okay, she will have been studying uh, genetics for four years. Okay, why? Because now I am calculating from, from 2020, okay, until 2024. Okay, so we have four years now. Okay, so she will have been studying genetics for how many years? Four years. Okay, four years. Now, you have one, two, three, four, and Five, let's start. My parents got married in 1990, okay? By 2022, okay, now I need you to complete this one. Number two, my brother became a vegetarian three weeks ago. By next week, three, Jasim starts his new job today. A week from now, number four. Some hospitals have used robots in surgery. 
by 2035, okay, all. And number five, I have already lost five kilograms on my diet. If I lose another two, now I need you to complete these sentences with me, please. Now let's start. My parents got married in 1990, okay? By 2022, what will happen, of course, okay? They will have been married for 30 years, okay? And we used here, which tense? Future perfect, okay? Will have been, okay? Married for 30 years. So here, something completed, okay, in the future. Something completed in the future, as you can see here. Number two, my brother became a vegetarian three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. So by next week, okay, by next week, he will have been a vegetarian for a month, okay? Another action, okay, on a specific point of time. Number three, Jasmine starts his new job today. A week from now, again, he will have been working in his new job for a week. Okay, he will have been working. Look, he will have, not he will has, yeah, he will have been working. Okay, it's always have, not has. Number four, some hospitals have used robots in surgery by 20 35 all and we talk about this all will be using robots in surgery okay not some hospitals all hospitals of course will be using robots will be using robots in surgery number five i have already lost five kilograms on my diet okay if if i lose another two okay it will happen of course i will have lost seven kilograms okay seven kilograms as you can see here in this one okay good now let's move to b use the future perfect to combine okay the future events into one sentence so now i want i want you to use future perfect only okay why i want you to combine two or the future events into one sentence using either by or by the time, either by, or either by, or by the time, write sentences in your notebook, okay? We're going, we're going to see first these two, okay, sentences here, then we are going to combine them, okay, together. Let's start with the first one, which is like an example for you, okay, the first event, I will graduate, graduate from college, okay, the second one, uh, 2023 will come okay how we can combine now this one using the future uh, perfect look by 2023 i will have graduated okay i will have graduated from college as you can see here what happened actually will graduate okay and of course graduated here is the uh, Past participle from graduate, from college. Now, let's start with number one. The first event, the football game will start. So here I'm talking about start, okay? And the second event, we will arrive at the stadium. So now we have two, okay, events, okay? And the future, how we can combine them, how we can join, combine it means join them using future perfect. Look. Number two, I will fall asleep, I will fall asleep, and this TV show will be over. Three, I will pass my law exams, okay, and 2025 20, will come. Number four, my father will work as a medical doctor for 20 years, okay, and he will retire, he will retire. Now, Let's see the answers, how we can join these events together using the future perfect. Look, number one, by the time we arrive at the stadium, this is the first one, by the time we arrive at the stadium, okay, the football game will have started, will have started. Number two, by the time 
this TV show is over, I will have fallen sleep. Fallen a sleep. Number three, I will have passed my law exams by 2025. And number four, by the time he retires, my father will have worked as a medical doctor for 20 years. Okay, medical doctor for 20 years. Okay, so this is how, uh, now we learned how we can join two events in the future, of course, okay, by using future perfect, by using future perfect. Very good. Now, let's go to the uh, second point of our lesson today, which is going to be about used to, against, or versus be used to. For example, I used to read a lot. I used to read a lot. Okay, so now when I'm saying I used to do something, it means that it, it, uh, it happened in the past, but not anymore. It stopped or it's finished now. I used to read a lot. Okay, but now I have too much work to do. Okay, so when you use used to here, I am saying what? Used to, the base form of a verb is used to talk about an action. To talk about what? Okay, why I'm talking about this here, as you can see. Okay, to talk about an action that was repeated habit habitually in the past. Okay, so now, action that was repeated, okay, habitually in the past, but no longer happens now. I used to read a lot, okay. But, and to describe a bad situation which is no longer true, or, okay, describe a bad situation is no longer true. For example, Tom didn't use to cheat, okay, to cheat on school's tests. He used to be an honest person. He used to be, okay, an honest person. Also, he used to study hard. Okay, he used to be a good student. As you can see, used to and the base form of the verb. The base form of the verb. Okay, now, for the negative, of course, we use didn't used to. Okay, didn't used to. So here, when I'm talking about the negative, okay, use did not or didn't, sorry, didn't used to. Okay, we need... We need to omit the D, okay, from used. I used to, but when I am talking about negative now, okay, I have to remove D. What does it mean omit? It means to remove, okay, the D from use, okay. Didn't use to, okay, didn't use only. Very good. Now, the second one which is this number one, for example. What about number two? Be used to gerund or noun, for example, this one, okay, is used to talk about something that has become familiar or habitual, okay? So, when I'm talking about something that has become familiar or habitual, okay? It's like habit, okay? It's like habit. Now, look. Some people think it's crazy that we work seven days a week. Okay? It's become now a habitual thing. But he is used to, to it. Okay? Used, he is used to it. Then, although she is a millionaire now, she isn't used to shopping in expensive stores. Although she is a millionaire. Okay, for the negative, okay, what about the negative here? We use be plus not, okay, and use the, okay. So here, as you can see, you have to add D here. She, for example, she isn't used to. She isn't used to, okay? Do not omit the D. Do not omit it, okay? You have 
to put the D as you can see here. This is the difference between actually used to and be used to. Now, the last thing we have today, the third point of our lesson today, which is going to be about was or where going to. Why I'm talking about this? Because I'm talking about future in the past. Future in the past. Okay. Was or were going to plus the the uh, the base form of a verb. Okay, is used is used to talk about a prediction. Okay, to predict. Okay, in the past for the future. Okay, a prediction for the future made in the past or sometime a past plan that was not carried out. Okay, did not complete at all. Okay. When he saw the old man fall, Ross wa uh, was not going to stop. Wasn't, okay, going to stop. Okay, so here, like, like as you can see here, okay, when I'm talking about this one, future in the past, wasn't going to stop. He was going to keep running. Okay, he was going to keep running. So now, so like uh, to predict, or sometime uh, intentions, okay, and so on, okay. Keep running to catch his flight, okay. Russ realized this was wrong, but uh, so he stopped and held the old man. So he stopped and held the old man, like like what we said earlier, okay. When I'm talking about was or we're going to future in the past. Okay, I have to use this rule, was or where, going to, okay, and the base form, of course, as you can see, okay, then of a verb, of course, to talk about a prediction for the future made in the past, okay, or a past plan that was not carried out, was not carried out, very good. Now, look here at, t uh, at these two pictures here, we have this man is called Ming, okay? This is the first picture, picture number one here. Okay, and this is picture number two. What happened? What happened really happened here, okay? Now, look at these pictures. Complete the paragraph about how Ming's life has changed since he became wealthy, okay? Since he became Wealthy, inherited money, inherited some money, okay? So, use, used to, be used to, and was going to, okay? I need you to use used to, be used to, and was going to, okay? Now, let's start. When Ming was younger, okay, his life was very different, okay? Look at these two pictures here. What happened actually in Ming's life, okay? So... Let's see, we were trying to look here. Ming, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, and Ming now. What happened to Ming, actually? Okay, let's read together. When Ming was younger, his life was very different. He inherited some money. He got some money and became wealthy, okay? Got some money from uh, his uh, ancestor, for example. And he was going to buy a car. However, he decided to invest it in a state and now he is rich. He didn't use to have any money, but now he is used to buying whatever he wants. He is used to eating good food. In the past, he never used to eat out. He used to be fit, but now he is overweight. Okay, so these are how we could use used to, be used to, and was where going to. Now, let's see the objectives again. Okay, complete the sentence with the correct future tense. Say the suitable time expressions. Differentiate between the, uh, the use of used to and be used to. Finally, write a future prediction with was or where going to. I would like to thank all of you for watching us today, and inshallah, I will see you at the next lesson. Goodbye.